chance to get out of the scrum and uh, here's Cronin taking what uh, they call the option. And here's Neil Hunt getting away from a couple of would-be tackles. See, that's the trouble. You've always got Kenny's and Ellers running around Cronin and you might move up fast and block them out, but suddenly you forget about old Mick and he takes what they call the option and shoots into an opening and finds somebody up on his inside. His price. Dummies, holds it back, still goes, but Roach is there to make the tackle. They're only about uh, 15 metres out from the line, and they, they work on this blind. Here's Cronin flicking it inside for Laurie, a nice fend, and then he works his way out of another couple. Gets the pass inside for Sharp, and Sharp is, well, he's only a couple of blades of grass from that line. Dummy half is Mosley, gets it out the back for Laurie. Laurie's going to score, no he's not, he's a metre out from the line. Mark Laurie to play it on five. Out it goes to Sterling. Now it's Kenny. Kenny scores. The semi-final is now turning into a massacre. Beautiful play by Sterling. Kenny Ella Magic says the sign, but they left one very important part off it, in my opinion. A bloke called P. Sterling. Price away to Sterling. And Sterling just knew that the long ball was required and Kenny just strolls over for the easiest of tries. Parramatta took the option of running the ball on the sixth tackle rather than kicking it. Sterling threw a great ball into a gap. All, all Kenny had to do was catch it, put his head back and run over the line. And that he did. Uh, a massacre. Might be the correct word, but certainly it's been a spark. 